What does privilege mean to you? Um, privilege means when somebody's like born with something and they have things that are just given to them because of the way they're born. What does privilege mean to you? Having a superior right compared to the one that's inferior to you, socially wise. Your upbringing, um, having more rights and not um, knowing of it, not being like not knowing that you have the privilege. What does privilege mean to you? Um, it means being able to go into a place and not think about how you look or are or like are perceived. That's my definition, I think. I I don't know if that's like an easy to like define thing. I think there's a lot of it, there's a lot of different ways yeah. to there's a lot of different ways to define it. I think like you know that you're privileged if it's something that you don't have to actively think about. Yeah. Okay, Whether that's, that's like money or race or yeah. sexuality or any of that. Gender. Right. Yeah. Privilege is very important. I had an ex who he was white, he was a male, cis male, and he was rich and he would always brag about it. What's for examples of privilege? Um I feel like the most common one is white privilege. So people um, that are white just like get things because they're white and they don't realize that they're getting it. Um, whereas people of color don't get the same things or are treated differently. What type of things? Um, just advantages in life, uh, different jobs, paychecks. Um, I'm from the US, so obviously over yeah. there, I feel like there's more of a difference in here. But what types of privileges are there, would you say? Male privilege white privilege is usually just based on appearance and uh, what society thinks acceptable so usually women are more seen as inferior simply because they're physically prowess or lower than a male and uh, just what the past history has taught us or has been tried to teach us that you know the you, white people are more above than the culture or like the um, ethical ones and uh, yeah Basically, yeah, most of yours was. I think it's important to recognize your privilege. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. How do you think you should go about doing that? Um, sitting down and letting others speak, I think, is a great way to do that. What do you think? To recognize privilege. I, I mean, I think that that's just like a thing of like educating yourself because, I mean, like kind of like what I said, like when, when you're privileged, it means like you don't have to think about that stuff. How do you think people should recognize their privilege? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not taking things for granted and um, letting people know, well, not letting people know, but just recognizing that they, well, that's what you asked, but just recognizing that they do are getting that treatment um, and that it is different from other people. So on a scale of one to 10, one being least privileged, 10 being most privileged, where would you both rank yourself? Probably like a seven. Why? Well, obviously, um, I'm a white woman. I was born not having to worry about money, um, but I am a woman and I am also bisexual. So I feel like um, I'm pretty high up there, but there are some things that I'm not privileged with, like gender equality and stuff like that. In America, um, a lot of Women's rights are being taken away, especially in the South, which is where I live. Um, so that's something that I do have to worry about, which sucks. What about you? I don't think it's like a quantifiable number type thing. Like, yeah. I, I don't think it's like a rating scale because there's so many things to measure it on. Like, I think economically, I'm probably definitely on the more privileged side, but I'm also like a queer person who lives in a really, really rural part of America. So it's, you know, like, in some ways I'm really not, and in some ways I really am. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being least privileged, 10 being most privileged, where would you rank yourself with that? Mm. Well, I, I'm Brazilian, um, so I feel like I, I don't necessarily get all the privileges as a regular white person, but I am pretty white passing, I feel like. So I, I'd probably say like a 7 or a 6, especially since I'm a male too. So what do you do with that privilege? I don't know, uh, walk down the street and feel safe, you know? Um, I, I don't know. So on a scale of one to 10, one being least yeah. privileged, 10 being most privileged, where would you both rate, uh, rank yourselves? 
I'd, I think seven. I haven't actually faced any type of discrimination so far. I haven't been looked down for. I think it's because I pass usually as what's acceptable because if they knew a background thing, I would have as much privilege. And uh, seven, not a ten, soon because I'm a, I know I'm a woman and people see me lower me as you know, in lower regards rather than a male. Yeah, I'd give myself maybe a five because I don't think I am white passing and also because I grew up in a very conservative country, Sweden. Mm. Um, being around a lot of privileged people, it was very hard because it's just you don't get the same rights as everyone. Mm. Um, so I wouldn't say that I'm very privileged. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.